Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time now using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome to the latest Minitab tutorial. And today what we're going to do is we're going to do a multivari chart using Minitab. Now the data that we're going to use is from a, a molding example and you can see it here on the Excel spreadsheet. I have a molding tool with 25 cavities. Each cavity look, I have three samples from each cavity. So that's the data that we're going to use. Now I'm showing you the data initially in Excel because that isn't the way that the data needs to be presented into Minitab. But we are going to do a multivari chart which will show the within cavity variability and of course the between cavity variability which is what multivari charts are designed to show you. So let's go over to Minitab and we'll take a look at how the data is in a Minitab spreadsheet. So here we are in Minitab. You can see that the cavity and the sample in C1 and C2 over here And you can see that now we haven't got the data in a table anymore. We've got it in columns. And I've had to put the cavity in the left-hand column. So you can see there are three repetitions of 1 to 25. And then I had to put the sample stacked into column 2. And that's the way that Minitab likes the data. It likes the data stacked into columns. Now the graph I'm going to use is actually called an interval plot. So they're not calling it anymore a multivari chart, which is what I would definitely call it. They've decided to call it an interval plot. So I click on the interval plot and then it says 1y with groups. 1y with groups. If I click on that item, click OK, it opens up the window. I've put the sample as one of the graph variables. And of course, the cavity is the grouping variable. Now, I could put other um, variables in here, and therefore, it would, it would cut the data up to a further level. But for this, it's just the cavity and the sample. So I've put that in the two boxes. I really don't need to do much else. I probably could label. Let's have a look at some of the options. But I probably could do with labeling the, the graph. I can change the way it looks, of course. Um, I have a choice to do that. I will leave you to, um, to do that. I have a chain, chance to change the way the, the graph is created. But now... I'm just going to press OK to this. Now let's take a look. The graph is going to be at the back there in the session, in the session window. So let's just pop that graph out. So now you can see, now you can see the 25 cavities and the variability within cavity because that's the length of each one of these lines. You can see the average within the cavity. And of course, you can see the difference between the cavities. So if you wanted to reduce the variability, cavity 1, cavity 6, cavity 9, 16, 17, and 22, if you were to lift the average of those cavities up to join the, the rest of the group, 
that would dramatically change the variability. And of course, when we are doing Six Sigma, the ability to see variability and to see where it comes from is most important. And so the multivari chart can often be a fantastic tool for seeing variability, understanding variability, and allowing you to reduce variability. The interval plot, or the multi vary chart, as I would call it, in Minitab. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject. If you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with, or indeed any questions about Six Sigma uh, at all, or indeed Lean, please drop me a message either in the comments below. Please subscribe also, um, but you can also leave me an email. If you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice, I'm more than happy to help you out. And of course, if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem, please drop me a line. I hope to hear from you soon.